I've talked to so many people that drive all over the world in different races, and I have not found one person yet that tells me there's a race that matches this race in the experience, and in the challenge, in the danger, in the thrill, in the camaraderie, in the esprit de corps, in every way. You're racing against professionals and newbies, people that are taking it seriously and want to win, or those who just go for fun. So this race, you can have fun, or you can just go all out and take it to the limit. This race is like the human struggle all in seven days. My name is Renee Brinkerhoff, and I drive a 1956 Porsche 356A. My passion for racing has been a lifetime passion, I would say, since my teens. And it lay dormant until three or four years ago. And it was something that I aspired and hoped and dreamt about doing for all my adult years. And yet I never spoke to anybody about it. It was that little thing that I had a conversation in my head about, that one day I would like to race a car. It was something that I couldn't do because of the path I chose in my life. And I found myself in my 50s having that same conversation. And I thought, wait a minute, you actually can do what you've been thinking and dreaming about all these years. All the years prior to this year, 2015, I'd managed the team, I'd done everything. I'd done, it's an enormous amount of work to get the crew down there, the car ready. I mean, there are so many things I have to be taking care of to get your car, your, all these people logistically down there, and then to keep everything running. I don't think you can be or should be ever overcome in this race. It's not like racing on a track. It's extremely dynamic, it's extremely dangerous, and there are so many things that you are, have no control over. There's something that I hesitate talking about as being a woman driver, and it is that whole part of being a woman. When I started racing, I had no idea anything about racing, to the point that I did not even know it was a man's sport. And then when I got down to Veracruz and I looked at who was driving and who was participating and I realized there were no girls here, <laughs> where were all the women? And then I came to find out that that year I think I was one of three ladies that were racing and then the next year one of two. And, and I never even thought about that part of it. So. I got confronted quickly with all the realities of what my, quote, dream had been, and I realized for my own self-respect, I had to go do this. <laughs>